white, you would be going places. And I told her I was black and I'm still going places. We're one, and we reject any intruder who seeks to divide us on the basis of race and color. If you can think it, if you can dream it, then eventually you can have it. Texas Southern University prepared me. There are some of us who understand that this institution is the means by which we will have greater opportunities in the future. You have in your hand the responsibility to raise us from the low level we have brought ourselves into. Because you were determined to succeed at that the Texas Southern University, we say, succeed with excellence in achievement. TSU has provided me with a lot of opportunities. Uh, I have been in Africa. No one in my family has been in Africa. Uh, everything I wanted coming to TSU, I received. All the professors that I have had, I'm a junior now, so throughout the years, they have been very helpful. You know, there's a spirit once you get on this campus, uh, a never give up type of spirit. It's a supportive environment for the faculty. You just kind of get a feeling when you know, like, this is your home. It has been one of the best decisions I've made in my life. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Daryl Singleton. I am honored to serve as your announcer for the Texas Southern University 2020 Winter Commencement Ceremony for the Thurgood Marshall School of Law. Commencement is indeed a special day for all of our graduates. We are honored to celebrate the graduating class of spring, summer, and fall of 2020. We encourage you to celebrate by cheering and applauding wherever you are. The commencement ceremony will now begin. family. I am Joan Bullock and I have the distinct pleasure of serving as the Dean of Texas Southern University Thurgood Marshall School of Law. On behalf of the law school faculty, staff, students, and alumni, welcome to our Winter 2020 Commencement Ceremony.
We will now have the invocation by Professor of Law, Himeko Siripo. Let us all pray. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for bringing us here together this evening to celebrate the accomplishment of our students and to mark another important date in the history of our institution. Lord, we commit this entire event into your able hands, and we are confident that with you as the captain of the ship, everything will pro proceed smoothly. Father, we ask that our students, that as they mark the end of one phase of their life, that this will be a commencement of a greater life for them and the commencement of also uh, greater things for our beloved institution, Texas Southern University, and also in particular the Togus Marshall School of Law. Lord, we thank you for everything, and we know that with you in charge, we will have a nice occasion, and everybody will rejoice at the end of the day. As we go home, Lord, we also commit our trip back onto your hands. And we also pray for the parents and the friends and the families that have supported the students all this while. And Lord, that they will benefit from the fruit of their labor. All of this we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Professor Zirico. It is my distinct privilege to introduce our interim president, Mr. Kenneth R. Hewitt. Welcome to each and every candidate in Texas Southern University's class of 2020. The university is proud to celebrate graduates through the, our 10 colleges and schools from the spring, summer, and fall semesters. The dedicated, this dedicated ceremony honors candidates from the Thurgood Marshall School of Law. It is a sign of the times, our new normal, that we must share this commencement exercise through technology and the virtual world. But health and safety is our responsibility to you and your families. Thanks to everyone for your patience and understanding as TSU responds in real time to mandates beyond our control. This unique moment is designed to celebrate your monumental accomplishments. You have earned a degree in your respective field of study, a major feat in this climate of challenge and uncertainty. It is a tribute to your perseverance and will. This incredible milestone is one that strengthens your life for years to come, offering the opportunity to support yourself, your family, your city and nation, and perhaps the global community. It is a vision full of possibility that all the important diploma will be in your hands this evening. Thank you for staying the course to reach this glorious moment. The administration, Board of Regents, faculty and staff of Texas Southern University salute each of you. According to our motto, excellence in achievement. Now it is my honor to introduce the Honorable Albert Myers, Chairman of the Texas Southern University's Board of Regents, as he delivers a special message to our candidates for graduation. Hello, Texas Southern University class of 2020. I am Albert Myers, Sr., Chairman of the TSU Board of Regents. It is my honor to bring greetings on behalf of the board. I'd like to acknowledge my fellow regents who I know join me in the pride we're all feeling here today. Regent Carter, Regent Medina, Regent Benham, Regent Rose, Regent Terrell, Regent Price, Regent Sias, Regent Nellis Page, and Student Regent Johnson. Graduates, Congratulations and well done. You are excellence in achievement. You have studied, 
achieve and across the finish line during unprecedented times. Your academic journey at Texas Southern has been defined by persistence and reliance, and it will serve you well as you enter the next chapter. My first point for the day is so simple yet so important. Please take this moment to say thank you to your mom and dad, our grandparents, our friend, but thank all those who tied a small knot in your rope to pull you up to get you here today. I encourage you all to remember Texas Southern as the foundation for your greatness as you move forward in a changing environment. The pandemic won't define you, but instead, it's how we respond to these circumstances that will help us chart our course. You've already responded with success by making it to this great day. My ask of you is this, carry yourselves with TSU pride. Enhance the brand and reputation of the university by demonstrating excellence and leading by example. Stay connected to your deans and professors by sharing what you learn in this chapter and how it can be implemented here at your alma mater. Finally, remember to give back to future graduates with your time, talent, and resources. Again, on behalf of the Board of Regents, thank you for choosing Texas Southern University. And once again, congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations to the 2020 graduates of the outstanding Texas Southern University. And yes, congratulations to all of the family members and all of your support all of these years that you finally reached this outstanding level of success, this pinnacle. I'm Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, so delighted to be able to represent you in the United States Congress and to congratulate you with a word and a message. You are history makers. You're in a time in America's history where we need the kind of leadership that you represent as you now leave Texas Southern University. It is a history-making university founded in the ashes of segregation, so many of you from a diverse community have come and made a success in life that you never thought you'd be able to achieve. I am congratulating you for the ups and the downs of your life, for the moments that you had to go through that you thought you'd never make it, but here you are today and you have made it. I'm reminded of our iconic Dr. Thomas Freeman. Many of you know was a great leader of this university that we lost in 2020. He always sought the best in his students. And my message today for all of you as graduates is to seek the best in people. Always seek the best, and as you do that, you should do good. When we do good, good things happen to us. In this nation, in these tumultuous times, we need the kind of graduates from Texas Southern University that will do good. We need those that will be reminded of the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, who spoke about social justice and injustice, but he spoke about it nonviolently. And so it is important that you are a creator of change, change that will bring about America's goodness. We cannot do much without our people. We cannot do much without recognizing the history of our people coming from all walks of life. As I said, you are history makers. I wish to congratulate you as you take this walk, this historic walk, remind yourself that you're here to do good for America because America can only be good when you are the best of what you can be. God bless all of you and God bless the United States of America. You are truly history makers in 2020, making a difference. Hello, I'm your Congressman Al Green and I'm honored to be with you today to the president, uh, President Hewitt, to the chair of the board, Myers, and to the faculty, the student body, and especially to the graduates. Please allow me to share one piece of advice. Don't listen to the naysayers. Naysayers don't do great things. It's the yaysayers who get the big things done in life. If Will Chamberlain had listened to the naysayers in 1962, he wouldn't have scored 100 points in one game. If Judge War Hoffines had listened to the naysayers who said, no, you can't build an indoor baseball diamond, we wouldn't have the Astrodome, the first of its kind. And if a little known senator, 
Barack Obama had listened to the naysayers in 2008, he would never have become the first African-American president of the United States of America. So today, as we are now about to embark upon a new phase of life, remember this, in January of next year, there's a person who had she listened to the naysayers, she wouldn't be going to Washington, D.C. She wouldn't be raising her hands on the mall. And as she raises her hand, once she takes an oath of office and lowers her hand, she will become the first person of color who is a female and vice president of the United States of America. She didn't listen to the naysayers. Yaysayers get things done. Be a yaysayer, do great things. Texas Southern is proud of you, I'm proud of you, and you'll change the world. God bless you. Thank you, Congressman Sheila Jackson Lee, who serves as a member of the United States House of Representatives for the 18th Congressional District of Texas. And thank you, Honorable Congressman Al Green, who represents Texas 9th Congressional District in the United States House of Representatives. We thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to pay tribute to our graduates. Before I welcome and acknowledge the platform participants, I want to take a few moments as Dean to address the class. Our time together has not been long, but it has been meaningful. Extraordinary. Webster's Dictionary defines extraordinary as going beyond what is usual, regular, or customary and exceptional to a very marked extent. What do you call a group that perseveres against odds to accomplish a goal? Extraordinary, by going beyond what is usual. What trait defines that group, allowing it to rise up and confront the challenge that looms large as an obstacle? Extraordinary being exceptional to a very marked extent. Class of spring 2020 and class of fall 2020, remember that word when the reality of these times brings in sharp focus what you are up against. Extraordinary. I would like to stand before you in cheerful tone and speak of the rose garden of life that you will walk through but as the old song that many of you are too young to know refrains, I beg your pardon, I never promised you a rose garden. There's gotta be a little rain sometime. When you take, you gotta give. So live and let live. What you have received is of great value. Where you sit, you may neither realize it nor see it but you are extraordinary, exceptional to a very marked extent. The Journal of Blacks in Higher Education in pulling from the U.S. Census Bureau noted that there are 3,215,000 blacks in this country who have a bachelor's degree and there are an additional 1,000,000 78,000 African Americans who have both a four-year college degree and a master's degree. An additional 150,000 blacks hold a professional degree in fields such as law, business, and medicine. You are now being added to those small ranks. For those not black or African American, the total resident active population of attorneys in 2020, according to the American Bar Association, is 1,328,692 out of a U.S. population of approximately 331 million. When you all pass the bar, on first administration, I might add, you will breathe this rarefied air as a member of the bar. Yes, you are in possession of something of great value. As the song says, when you take, you gotta give. With what you have been given, 
you have a responsibility. As a graduate of Thurgood Marshall School of Law, a special mantle has been placed on you with a corresponding responsibility in you carrying out the purpose of that mantle. You may have realized in your law studies that the study of law is the study of the human condition. Whether a first year course or a third year course, the legal issue was best understood if you had at least a glimpse into the why. Without the understanding of the why, the agendas and motivation of people that got them into their legal clashes, your knowledge of the law was sterile and shallow. This brings me back to your responsibility, to the special mantle being placed on you as a new graduate of the law school. The world is looking for answers. How will it find the right answers if it is not asking the right questions? It cannot. Your charge is to help the world find those answers. How do you do that? By helping people ask the right questions, the hard questions, the questions that begin with why rather than what. You must help lead the discussion through the creation, interpretation, and enforcement of laws that encourage and support the asking of the right questions the hard questions that delve into the why the problems exist, rather than what are the symptoms to address. As graduates, you are leaving the Thurgood Marshall School of Law to serve as leaders in the legal profession, business, and government. You may be asking how you can be a leader when you are just starting in a profession. Leaders lead where they are planted, there is no special role or position that a leader need have. You have been well equipped to lead the courageous conversations that serve to advance equality, diversity, and opportunity in keeping with the values and ideals of Justice Thurgood Marshall. I, along with each and every faculty and staff member of the Thurgood Marshall School of Law, congratulate you in Tiger Pride. Stay focused, keep the faith, be extraordinary. Now please join me in welcoming the platform participants. I have with me on the platform Interim President Kenneth R. Hewitt, Dr. Kendall Harris, President and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Kevin Granger, Vice President of Intercollegiate Athletics, Dr. Rasul Sanford, Interim Associate Provost and Associate Vice President for Academic and Faculty Affairs, and Professor Emiko Durigbo, Professor of Law at Thurgood Marshall School of Law. Thank you. I want to acknowledge the distinguished and highly esteemed faculty members of the Thurgood Marshall School of Law. I am thankful for the wisdom of our faculty who guided these graduates. And thank you to the law staff for your dedication and your support of the students. I would also like to give special thanks to our alumni for supporting Thurgood Marshall School of Law and this great university. To the parents, spouses, family members, and friends of the graduates, I give an especial thank you for your support, your love, and your care for the graduates. This is your day as well a day I am sure you had on the calendar since they started law school. The graduates did not take this journey alone. You were there with them as stalwarts of support. We thank you. It is now my distinct honor to introduce our commencement speaker. 
Ms. Paulette Brown is the first woman of color to lead the American Bar Association in its history. As the leader of this 400,000 voluntary member organization, Ms. Brown was responsible for governance, advocacy, and serving as the voice and face of the ABA. Her presidential initiatives resulted in seven major policies developed and approved by the ABA, having a long-lasting impact on diversity and inclusion in the legal profession and the justice system. Ms. Brown is also a past president of the National Bar Association and currently serves as the chair of the Africa Council for the ABA's Rule of Law Initiative. Ms. Brown is a partner and chief diversity and inclusion officer at Lock Lord LLP. She is the co-author of Visible Invisibility, Women of Color in Law Firms, and Left Out and Left Behind the hurdles, hassles, and heartaches of achieving long-term legal careers for women of color. Ms. Brown is nationally recognized for her dedication and efforts relating to diversity and inclusion, including the impact of implicit bias, and is a frequent speaker and educator on both. She has won numerous awards and honors, including the Margaret Grant Award and three honorable doctorate degrees. Ms. Paulette Brown. Thank you for that wonderful and kind introduction. And thank you, Dean Bullock, for this extraordinary invitation to be a part of such a momentous occasion for such deserving graduates of the Thurgood Marshall School of Law. It is really indeed a privilege for me to be here I'm really sorry that this could not be a more elaborate event where you could fully celebrate with your family and your friends. But, you know, I want to say congratulations because today is absolutely your day. No matter what environment you're in, it's still your day and no one can take it away from you. You've worked hard. The school has provided you with all the tools to be successful and successful you will be. You are the hope and the dreams and the promise of our future. As graduating law students, especially in 2020, you have experienced many things that other of us, others of us would not dare to even think about, not even in our worst of time. 2020 and all of the time actually that you have been in law school and for the past four years and the last three years and even up until the present, it has been a difficult time. We have been living in extremely challenging times, but I know that you are up for any challenge because these challenges have built character in you and have made you stronger and will cause you to do all that is necessary to make our profession the greatest profession that there is. When you think about what it is that you're embarking upon, I think about Dr. Martin Luther King that this is the fierce urgency of now. There is so much work that has to be done, so much rebuilding that has to be done and you are the ones who can do it. I think about, I thought that I had adversity in my life. I know that like some of you, I was the first in my family to go to college, the first to go to law school, and there were obstacles that were facing me. But the obstacles that you've had to confront, with, confront you, there is no stopping you at this point. You have the ability and you understand that in order to make things successful, you have to build from the ground up. And when we talk about building from the ground up, we think about the inequities that exist in our society and the, the marginalization that you faced and the discrimination that you faced. And I'm not suggesting that just because you now have your law degree 
that you will not face these these acts of marginalization and discrimination. They permeate throughout society. We know that it's happened for the last 400 years, but there are things that you can overcome. And so if I am a person who graduated from segregated schools in Baltimore and rose to be the first woman of color to be president of the American Bar Association, if I can do that, then I know that you have the capacity to do any and everything. You attend an HBCU, and I personally know the value of attending an HBCU. I went to Howard, and I know that HBCU is not just uh, intellectual education, but there's so much that HBCUs pours into our souls that informs us that we are the social engineers for justice and that we cannot have a civil society and a democracy that is going to serve everyone in the same way that if we had gone to a different type of school. So you can be assured that this education, this full and whole and complete holistic education that you've received at the Thurgood Marshall School of Law is going to carry you through any difficult and troubled times. And that you are going to come out on the right side of everywhere it is that you need to be. And you will be able to say, and you'll be able to look back on this moment, on this day, and say, I am proud of what it is that I have accomplished. And you will look back and say that even though I may have stumbled in some areas, I know that because of what has been poured into me, I can lift myself up and I can do even better than I did before. And sometimes, you know, we won't always be successful. And as I mentioned before, that there are going to be places and people who are going to continue to try to marginalize you. I know this. I have been practicing for 44 years. I know this because I know some of the comments people said about me and, and the lower expectations they had of me when I was president of the American Bar Association. They didn't have those same low expectations of me when I was president of the National Bar Association. It was expected. And so that is what Thurgood Marshall has told you. Thurgood Marshall has told you that you should expect to be great and great you will be. And don't allow a few stumbling blocks. Don't allow people to tell you no. Don't allow people to tell you what your capacity is to try to limit you in any way. Only you can make that decision. Only you can determine how good it is you want to be, how far you want to go. And you will go far. And you will do well. And when you do well, you have to remember on whose shoulders you stand. Because I know that I stand on the shoulders of a many, a mightier person. And so I understand, as I hope you will understand, as you grow and as you prosper and as you become experts in your field that you will remember those people who are behind you and that you will drop the ladder and you will lift them up and understand that on this day, on this special day, this day that is yours, this day that is yours and that of your family, that you are prepared, that you are ready, that you are like warriors ready for battle. There's a lot of work that has to be done There has been some damage done to our democracy. And as the new lawyer leaders in our profession, it is up to you to effectuate the change that we know is necessary to be done. And you can do it because Thurgood Marshall School of Law has provided you with every single tool that is necessary. So go forth. My friends, and now my colleagues, I'm happy to say, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, faculty, administration, for preparing these law school graduates to be our future, to understand the urgency of now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Paulette Brown. You are the epitome of what it means to be extraordinary. You have accomplished so many firsts in your life. 
and you are a wonderful role model for our graduates and our law students. May your words resonate not only in their head, but in their hearts and in regards to the urgency of now. And now the highlight of today's ceremony will begin. Provost Harris will present the 2020 spring and winter graduating candidates. Good evening, members of the Board of Regents, administrators, faculty, staff, and guests, and most important, our graduates. Even though you're not here physically with us, I can feel the energy of you vibrating through these many waves over the internet. I'm honored to present our spring, summer, and winter 2020 graduates for graduation and announcements the conferring of their degrees. Each of these candidates, through their hard work and determination, have completed their own unique educational journey here at TSU. Texas Southern University tradition is to announce our graduates' name and give them well-deserved honor to walk across this stage and be recognized as graduates. However, due to COVID-19 pandemic that has hit our society, we are actually making it a virtual commencement. Achievements and membership in various campus organizations, please note candidates who are wearing colorful stolen cords to be officially inducted into the Texas Southern University National Alumni Association. Our request is for all candidates to cheer and be happy for themselves, even if you're in your bedroom, in your living room, your dining room, or even in the, in the rental hall that you have rented to celebrate with your family and friends. So, Dean Bullock, please present your school candidates. President Hewitt and Provost Harris, I present 221 candidates for the conferral of the Juris Doctor degree and seven candidates for the conferral of the Master of Laws degree from the Thurgood Marshall School of Law. Bestowed with distinguished honors are 17 summa cum laude honorees, 26 magna cum laude honorees, and 37 cum laude honorees. President Hewitt, upon recommendation from the dean and faculty members of the Thurgood Marshall School of Law, these candidates have successfully completed their course of studies and research for the Juris Doctors and Masters of Law degrees. It is now my privilege to present them to you for the conferring of said degrees. Provost Harris, I accept the recommendations of the law school, deans, faculty, and administrators. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Texas Southern University, I confer upon these candidates the degrees for which they are qualified with all of the rights, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining at Texas Southern University. The conferring of degrees will begin. Announcers, please start calling the names. Gerardo Acevedo. Tanya Adams Felder. Aramiju Arejogun. Anika Alfaro. Aaron Audrey Allen. Bianca Almagar. Juan Alvarenga. Brittany Archie.
Brittany Usaju. Ifeon Yichuku Ashibagu. Amna Aziz. Rijun Bujikuni Jackson. Magna Cum Laude. Nicole Bancroft. Justin Barlow. Hazel Batiste. Derek Baylor, cum laude. Scott Bernstein, magna cum laude. Kayla Berrios. Jamario Bibbs. Quiescence Bowden, cum laude. Chelsea Bosley, cum laude. Paige Bostic, summa cum laude. Nolan Joseph Boudreaux. Monique Bailey. Richard Briggs. Tiara Brooks Chapman. Zari Brown, cum laude. Charity Bruce. Shalisa Brunson, cum laude. Jahari Burnett, cum laude. Jessica Bustamante, magna cum laude. Miguel Cano. Bryce Carpenter. Victoria Carrizales, magna cum laude. Destiny Caesar, cum laude. Summer Ceballos, summa cum laude. Lisette Chapa, cum laude. Kanika Childers. Kristen Childs. Schuler China. Abraham Chopin. Alexandra Sirios. Michelle Clarington. Rainicia Coda, cum laude. Jordan Coleman. Valerie Cortez, magna cum laude.
John Hugh Cross. Deja Kutno, cum laude. Gregory Daniel. Nicolette Daniels. Joshua de la Cerda, cum laude. Wendy Dodson, cum laude. Lauren Dorman, cum laude. Contessa Jury Duncan Henderson. Shanicia Dunham. Juana Iburi Losoja, magna cum laude. Emil Erokpai. Tabitha Elder, cum laude. Bryce Evans. Nena Ezeji, cum laude. Nambi Esenwa, summa cum laude. Billy Fair. Bernardo Falcon. Tinuade Familuyi, summa cum laude. Xenophobe Fedison. Mechi Fung. Rene Flores. Chelsea Foster. Morgan Foster. Magna cum laude. Gerardo Garcia. Marcos Garcia Cuatro. Brianna Garza. Joshua Gaskins. Leah Gentry. Ronnie George. Vaisha Godfrey Phelps. Maribel Gomez. Beatriz Gonzalez. Mariah Grayson. Dominic Gregory. Adrian Guardiola. Andres Guerra, summa cum laude. Crescentia Gobadia, summa cum laude. Malik Hanna.
Derek Harris. Ebony Harris, summa cum laude. Huziafa Hashmi. Dominique Hawkins. Brianna Head. Alicia Hurd. Elena Henderson. Pablo Hernandez. Kristen Hill, cum laude. Kaina Hill Dominique Rawls. Peyton Hopkins. Richard Horace. Jalen Jackson. Jessica Jefferson. Josky Jenkins. Linda Jetton. Chelsea Johnson. Summa cum laude. Bavesh Jokaker. Christopher Joseph. Mortesa Karimi, cum laude. Vincatiwara Kasu. Lauren Kemp's Thibodeau, cum laude. Nia Keys. Raquel King, magna cum laude. Jasmine Knight, magna cum laude. Min Kalinda. Jerry Lavispear. Emily Lechuga, magna cum laude. Alyssa Lee. Sandra Lee. Jasmine Lewis. Charles Lewis, Jr. Arturo Lima, cum laude. Ginelle Logan. Lisbeth Lopez Reyes. Tyra Lovelace, magna cum laude. Jessica Lowry. Adrian Lozano.
Yvette Macedo. Andre Mackey, summa cum laude. Patricia Marquez. Marissa Marshall. Jeffrey Matthews. Zora Mavani. Joshua McKenzie, cum laude. Sean McLaughlin. Anita Medipur. Ariana Medipur. Eugenia Mendez. Jennifer Mendoza. Magna cum laude. Priscilla Mendoza. Magna cum laude. Ronisha Miller. Cum laude. Kendrick Mitchell. Morel Moore, cum laude. Arenica Mumford, summa cum laude. Alejandra Munoz Torres, cum laude. Jim Narvios. Miguel Nogueras. Zane Nomani. Martha Nueque. Magna cum laude. Brenda Odufua. Tobichuku Ofwani. Amanda Okoli. Magna cum laude. Alexis Okonkwo. Magna cum laude. Giovanni Padilla. Randy Pascal, summa cum laude. Neelam Patel. Terry Payton Jr., magna cum laude. Jeanette Perez. Pedro Perez Navejar, cum laude. Davisha Farms, cum laude. Stephanie Pimentel, cum laude. Wesley Pluvios Philip, cum laude. Grayson Pullum, magna cum laude. Ryan Ramirez. Monisha Randawa.
India Randall. Kira Riggins, cum laude. Jasmine Rios, summa cum laude. Yesenia Rios, cum laude. Michelle Rivera. Victor Rivera. Andrew Robertson. Rana Robinson. Magna cum laude. Rebecca Rosebush. Danielle Signs. Taylor Salter. Dominique Sandoval. Baron Sowles. Alexandra Schooley. Alexandria Scott. Magna cum laude. Tiara Seals. Summa cum laude. Sasha Sivani. Khalil Shanks. Daryl Sherman II, cum laude. Amber Simpson, cum laude. Tatum Simpson, summa cum laude. Jeremy Sims. Simran Singh. Ranjit Singh Lidar, cum laude. Malcolm Sinkfeld. Darmisha Slay, cum laude. Connor Smith. Jasmine Smith. Jeremy Smith. Stephen Smith. Stephanie Sneed. Alexis St. John. Juro Stevens. Anthony Stewart, Jr. Matthew Stubbs. Andrea Swanson. Antoinette Taylor. Crystal Taylor.
Renee Taylor. Samuel Terry. Aretenuke Thomas. Steve Thomas. Sean Tyser. Adolfo Trevino. Alberto Trevino. Christiana Valades, cum laude. Erica Veal. Michelle Villagomez. Victoria Villalobos. Ambrosia Voss. Jalisha Walker, cum laude. Natasha Walker. Morgan Ward, magna cum laude. Brian West. Terrence White. Mia Williams Collings, summa cum laude. Ambria Wilmore, cum laude. Kiana Witcher, magna cum laude. Janoy Wright, summa cum laude. Erica Young, magna cum laude. Epimenio Isis Jr. Adrian Suniga, summa cum laude. Ranjit Singh Lidhar. Monique Marie Louise Bailey. It is the long tradition that after receiving a post-secondary degree, the graduates will, will move their tassel from the right side to the left side. However, since the law school has already received their first degree as the bachelor's, their tassel is already on the left. So wherever you are and out there online, be prepared and just be prepared to salute and throw up your hats. President Hewitt, Board of Regents, Administrators, Dean, Faculty, and Guests, and most importantly, our graduates of 2020, I present to you the 2020 Spring, Summer, and Winter graduating class of Texas Southern University. Congratulations.
Congratulations, Texas Southern University Thurgood Marshall School of Law 2020 alumni. Your achievement today is remarkable. As you cherish the fruits of your hard work, I pray that success follows you in everything you do. To formally welcome our graduates as alumni of Texas Southern University, TSU National Alumni Association President, Mr. Keith Scott, will administer the alumni pledge. My name is Keith Scott, the Texas Southern University National Alumni President, and I want to congratulate our 2020 graduates on their recent achievement. Please get active by joining one of our 17 active alumni chapters throughout North America at TSUNAA.com. It's important that alumni give back to help students with their educational needs, and it's also a perfect way of networking with other alums throughout North America. 2020 alums, are you ready for the alumni pledge? To my right, I have the VP of Finance of TSU NAA, Virtus Wilson, and to my left, I have the Assistant Vice President of Alumni Relations, Connie Cochran. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. We the alumni of Texas Southern University pledge ourselves to uphold the principles and ideals for which she stands and move forward with our alma mater in the vanguard of its educational, cultural, and economic progress. This I promise. Congratulations. We are now at the end of our program. Before we leave, we will sing the alma mater. Thank you for celebrating with us today.